Now, the next item in the Places menu is the CD slash DVD creator. Now, this is a, a handy little utility. It's sort of a built-in CD burning tool. Very simple. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of features, but it's not really intended to have a lot of features. It's intended to be very, very quick. And this can be used in a variety of ways. One would be to go to Places and down to CD DVD Creator, as I just did now. And it will open up a, a folder in the Nautilus File Manager entitled CD DVD Creator. And what one could do would be to simply drag and drop items into this uh, open space here on the right hand side. It could be folders or files or, or anything. And once uh, some items are in here and a blank CD is inserted, uh, this grayed out button will light up. As you can see, this grayed out button says write to disk and it's grayed out because this particular computer does not have a CD burner in it and it does not have a blank CD in the CD-ROM anyway. But if it did, this button would light up and one could drag and drop items into this location and then simply click Write to Disk. And this would work for blank CDRs or blank DVDs if one had a DVD burner. That's why it's entitled CD slash DVD Creator. Now, the CD and DVD Creator can also be used to burn ISO images very easily. If one were to download an ISO image uh, here to the desktop, say a 600 megabyte ISO image of perhaps a, a Linux distribution or other CD or something like that, one could simply right click on that icon and a and an entry will appear in the context menu saying burn to CD or something along those lines. And it uses that same CD DVD creator program to burn that ISO. Going back to the places menu, uh, the next item in the list is network servers. Now this will open up again, once again, of course, the Nautilus file manager and will uh, will browse the network. If one is connected to a LAN on the home uh, network or, or a uh, enterprise network, those uh, machines should appear under that location. Connect to server is a way to manually enter in server information, again, usually LAN servers, but it doesn't have to be LAN servers. It can be servers out on the Internet or some other location with some additional information. And uh, as you can see in this service type, there are uh, many different types. There are SSH servers, FTP with login, public FTP, also called anonymous FTP. A Windows share could be a Windows computer with, with file uh, sharing on. On, on, on a LAN, uh, WebDAV or secure WebDAV, and some sort of custom location. And depending on the option that's chosen, for example, Windows Share, the boxes down here below will change depending on the information that, that could be entered. This first box is usually required, and as you can see, this additional information is optional. And one, once the in information is entered, one can click Connect. And of course, clicking Browse Network will take one back to the network location that we were just at a minute ago. Next in places is an option uh, to search for files, and it uh, uh, opens up a, a box that allows one to, to search uh, the system for files and folders and things. And then the last entry in the places menu is a recent documents folder, and it allows one uh, to open up recent folders or documents very quickly and very easily and uh, without having to open up an application first. One can simply go to Places and then uh, and then Recent Documents. So that is the Places menu with some detail, and that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.